Kelly with Slime Vinyls Fun Creations and welcome back to my channel. On this channel we'll have fun creating things using some of my favorite tools like the Silhouette and the Glow Forge. Today I will be making some trivets to fit these pots. Let's get to work. Okay we are now in the Silhouette Studio app and what I'll do is grab my circle tool. My first circle will be 10 inches by 10 will be a perfect circle and then I'll grab my Florida Lee and put it here and let's highlight both of them together and I will align it in the center in the middle and it moves some so let's group this together now we'll duplicate this and my second one will be seven inches by seven. There, put them a little closer together, and now let me highlight both of them. And I'll duplicate it since I need both. I'm doing two sets. And let's ungroup and ungroup. It's my phone going off. And let's get rid of this. And we're ready to save it as an SVG on the hard drive. And let's call this Trivets. Dash or delete. Let's get ready to go on over to the Glowforge. All right, we are now in the Glowforge app, and I've opened my file. I've chosen the medium basswood hardwood settings. Let me pan over. It's a little hard to see, but I need to grab my designs. and put it on top of the wood. The other two I will save for the next cut, but I have the settings for cut and I have my custom settings. I will cut the floor to leaf first and then the circle. The glow for Glowforge does your um, things in the order that it is on the side. So right now I have it set for the floor to leave first, but I can also change it if I, I want it to. And I think that looks good. Let's set my focus. So the way I have it now is I will cut the circles and then cut the floor to leave. The Glowforge is focusing to see how far away the camera is away from my wood. I've also masked the wood and it looks like it's a little off. So let me bring my design down just a little bit, nudge it. Oops, I highlighted everything just a little bit so that it's on the board a little bit better. I don't want it to fall off or barely be cut on the edge. Okay, I think that looks good. Let me focus one more time. But it's looking good.
couple more seconds. Cutting is a lot faster than engraving, so this shouldn't take too long. Preparing the print. It'll take 12 minutes and one second to cut out the trivets. Let's get to work. Glowforce calls this the magic button. I call it my money button because every time I hit this button, I save money. All done. Let's remove the masking tape off. I'll use my little weeding tool. Looks great. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I just got done cutting this out. So I will highlight them both. Oops. I like just these two and drag it off so the Glowforge does not try to cut it again. And let me grab just these two now. Let's make it a little bigger so I can see. And I will set my focus again so the glow forge knows how far my circles are or my wood is so it can cut the circles out. While it's focusing, I now want to ignore this cut because I'm only going to cut out the circles this time. And I see that this right circle is hanging off a little, so let me highlight both of them and drag it over. Move this more. I separated the two so I can get them closer together. I don't want it to fall off. Okay, let me set my focus one more time. This part may not be necessary, but I always like to double check. It's sort of like measure twice and cut once. This job won't be as long because we're not engraving and we're not doing a lot of cutting. Okay, it's ready, so let's see how long this will take. Four minutes and 21 seconds, let's get to work. Time to hit my money button again.
this job is done. I'm removing the masking tape off. I like to use the masking tape to help get the charring off the wood so it's nice and clean. Okay, we have our pieces done now. This is how the Glowforge cut it out. And then my circle rounds. And what I'll do is stack them so it's a little bit thicker to make two like that. So I'll take these and put them aside. And let's flip them over in what I call the ugly side because of the charring on the back. And I have these felt pads that I'll put on the bottom of the trivet so that it can protect your countertop or surface, wherever it is, the table or counters. The felt pads have some adhesive backing on it and I am taking the adhesive backing off so that I can put the felt pads on the back. I'm just eyeballing. You can measure if you like. We have one more like that. And we'll do the same thing for the next one. I have the felt pads on the backs of the trivets now. So time to flip over on what I call the good side. And I'm just lining up my, my trivets. I will be staining just the center part where the Florida leaf will be so you can see the stain um, through the cutouts. And this stain is called Gunstock. I've already opened it. I'll use the back end of my paintbrush to stir it. Let's wipe this off. Look how pretty. All right, let's let that dry. And let's just check placement and see. look great. Okay, let's move these aside. Let's take the gloves off. Okay, 
case. I'll use um, this clear Gorilla Glue on the backs of my front pieces. I think that got messy. And spread it out with my paintbrush. that way it can adhere really well. And have a nice even coat. Can you see that? Then I will use my glue gun. I've already preheated it. I'll put a few dabs just to allow it to hold it in place. Just kind of go around so it can hold. Okay. Kind of line it up. repeat it for the next one. All right, moving on to the big one. All I'm doing is using my paintbrush to help spread out the glue. Got a big glob, so I'm gonna try to spread it out a little. Apply some pressure. And here you have it. The trivets look great with the stain with the peekaboo hole. And the trivets can fit a big pot or even a little pot. You can mix and match. Looks great. Love it, love it, love it. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today and you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. If you would like to save up to $500 on your own Glowforge, please use my special discount code link below. Check me out on Instagram and share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Love it, love it, love it.